Let's move on to some massive news that came out of the Let's Go podcast yesterday. And the Let's Go podcast is Tom Brady's podcast with Sirius XM. Now, Sirius XM is obviously right next to us, and they got a golf simulator right here. So they're just going to be blasting drives right into the ear hole mm -hmm. of Boston Connor right there, which we appreciate. But whenever Tom Brady launched a podcast every single Monday of an NFL season two years ago, we assumed that days like today were going to be a very regular occasion. If we have Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, talking in his new home with Jim Gray every single week, let's assume that there's going to be some news rippling out of there every single time he speaks. That was not the case. For most of the portion of the podcast, it was pretty dry. Tom Brady was speaking as if it was a press conference, and Jim Gray had every single question sponsored by a company like... Uh, Morton Steakhouse, Tom. <laughs> or Amex Plus. <laughs> or maybe... Avis, if you need to get a rental car at an away game. Anyways, every single question seemingly was sponsored by somebody, so I think it was kind of a difficult... Uh, to digest podcast yesterday in a celebratory uh, podcast of basically Tom Brady's career a lot of his old friends and family stopped by including Bill Belichick and last week we chatted about whether or not Bill Belichick and Tom Brady were on the same page for when Bill Belichick would undress Tom Brady in front of the rest of the room here's the story that Bill Belichick told and why it worked and how it worked and listen to the respect and love that these two very clearly have for each other you're trying to win a game and it takes everybody yeah, you know really uh jim that was as much a part of tom a as it was me you know because there were a couple meetings uh you know where i would say something to tom after the meeting like hey you know i didn't really you know think that was that bad but i just want to include you and everybody in there with everybody else and tom would say coach you have to if you don't yell at me then what am i going to do with all the rest of my teammates i got to be in there with all the rest of them and say hey he's yelling at all of us and like we all got to do better but if you leave me out of it, then then I don't really have a platform to work from. So, yeah, go ahead and rip my ass, too. Go ahead. And so I got the green light on that. I went ahead and took it. But And I the thing that players <laughs> always, they always come back to me and say, hey, the first meeting, Belichick got on Brady. I'm like, Christ, if he's going to talk to Brady like that, like, I better be straight. I, you know, I know what's going to happen to me. Such a weapon. And, and Tom's you know acceptance of that and also then his ability to lead his teammates by putting himself in the same boat with everybody else of like yeah we all got to do a better job you know he's after me just like he's after everybody else let's go um that's a tremendous platform to lead from and tom recognized that and yeah you know was he our best player did he make the fewest mistakes out there and all that yeah but everybody can do better every coach every player no matter how great they are and you know, if you're really looking and striving for, per per for perfection, then we all want that. Like, I want to be a better coach. Tom wants to be a better player, you know, and, and so does everybody else. You know, Law wants to be a better corner, and Logan Mankins wants to be a better guard and all that, and Rob Gronkowski wants to be a better tight end. And if you can tell him something to help him be better, a real competitor will appreciate that. And, uh, and actually where I got that from was Coach Knight. And because Coach Knight told me that's what he did with Michael Jordan on the Olympic team. He said, you know, Michael, I'm going to rip your ass just like because I can't rip some of these other guys without ripping you. And Jordan said, hey, bring it on because I, I need that and that'll help me with my teammates. And and uh, it, it was kind of a similar thing, you know, with Tom. He was he told me he appreciated it. I don't know if really sure or not. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's awesome. But I think that is what we were alluding to last week whenever we said Bill and Tom had to be on the same page about him chewing him out because if not, you could see how that could not last for 20 some years. But Tom continuing to take that and saying, yeah, do it, do it. And then using it as a, a platform of leadership. Brilliant. I'm happy it's worked out. I'm happy we get to hear those two kind of come together on this podcast. And uh, I'm happy for Tom and Bill basically saying to the world, this is a partnership. This has not been one or the other, and I think we got to see it a little bit, AJ. Well, I think the biggest, the, the most telling thing for me, at least, watching Belichick from afar, is listen to his voice, like how excited Belichick oh. is to speak about Tom. Like, Have you ever heard Bill be that, like maybe when he's describing a special wide teams player? Wide open. Yep. But wide open, like cussing a little bit, but just seems like he wants to be there. He wants to let people know how great Brady was, how great the relationship was. That's Honestly, I took a lot out of that, listening to his excitement. Connor, your thoughts? That had to feel good that the boys – 
are on the same side like For we sure. thought all along. Yeah, it was very nice to hear that, uh, one, obviously, everyone was wrong. You know, it's always nice as a Patriots fan when everyone's kind of berating you, the best player you've ever had and the coach of the dynasty for what? 20, 15 years where everyone's saying that they hate each other. So, yeah, it was nice to have that kind of moment of, oh, okay, so we were right, everyone else was wrong. But, no, it was sweet just because of what, like, it meant to both of them, each yeah. other, really, because even when Belichick came on, um, I think Jim Gray asked some question right after an ad, kind of just about what Tom means to what him. What was the ad? I believe it was for wet wipes, Tom, because I know you've been holding your junk in your hand, and you maybe want to ice down your hands if they're a little dirty with semen. And right right there, Belichick goes into, you know, how great of a player and person Brady is, and then Brady getting choked up and being emotional about it with Bill Belichick. It really did, to your point, show how much of a partnership and how much they love each other. Joining us now is a man who won a Super Bowl with that crew. He's a three-time Super Bowl champion, oh, yeah. also the founder of LG's Field good which is obviously cbd and other cannabis beautiful yeah. things what? friend of the program can't wait to talk to him love him every time ladies and gentlemen go ahead and spark that legarrett blunt yeah. Yeah. mr blunt hell yeah hey we were just talking about bill belichick was on the let's go podcast literally yesterday and he said how he and Tom Brady chatted about chewing his ass in team meetings. And basically, yeah, yeah, if you can, if you, are you there? Yeah, I'm, I got you now. Oh, you sound there good. We go. Whoa, there we go. Hey, you look good too, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for joining us. Um, we were just listening to the Let's Go podcast where Bill Belichick said that he and Tom Brady chatted about how, hey, I got to be able to chew you out in these team meetings because if... If I don't, everybody's going to be able to acknowledge it. And Tom said, yeah, you do that. It gives me the platform to lead. Was that the first meeting that you were at where you heard Tom get chewed out? Or is it just kind of understood that this is what Bill Belichick does to everybody? It was kind of understood. You got to understand. I, I got traded there from uh, from Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So um, there was – my quarterback was still young. It was Josh Freeman. He was still young. He didn't – you know, he got yelled at. Nobody cared if he got yelled at. <laughs> you know, he was a, he was a first-round draft pick, so he was still young. He got yelled at and stuff. But – uh. When I got when I got to New England, um, I, I immediately knew that the respect level for for Tom was high. Um, the first meeting that we had, Bill told everyone, "Hey, bro, make sure you guys make sure you guys are on time." If da da da, da all that good stuff. But the first time I heard him yell at him was um, I don't remember what game it was, but he had a wide open guy running down the sideline and he missed him. And uh, he was, you know, Bill was basically saying, "Hey, man, look, you are an NFL quarterback." <laughs> You're you're supposed to be this Pro Bowl guy. You're supposed to be this guy all high and mighty. If you're if you're if you're the best quarterback, like all these people walk around sucking you off, <laughs> and you're this guy the other. And if you're if you're this guy, look, there's a hundred other football players and college guys, even high school guys, can hit this wide open guy on a throw. You know, so so it's you know once I seen that, and I'm like, okay, oh shit. All right, there's man. nobody exempt from this. Yeah. You know, considering the <laughs> fact that he just talked to twelve in that manner. And I think that's a trait that Tom has that not everybody has, or it isn't a trait that's talked about as being one of the traits that makes him the greatest of all time. Hey, in front of my teammates, I have earned to be treated differently. Be who you can afford to be. Tom Brady has earned the right to not be treated the same. The fact that he allowed Bill for all those years, because Blunt comes in, literally sits up, turns out to be a fucking weapon yeah, for the dog. Dog. absolute dog he sits down there and he goes oh i gotta tighten my shit up and bill even alluded to that i liked bill kind of scratching his own back there aj you got anything <laughs> for Legarrett in the middle of that? yeah Legarrett, i know i've heard different things with like all bill cares about his ball and that you're doing things right what is i don't know if it was you or somebody saying like hey i like gronk would show up sometimes in pajamas but if you're on time and you know what you're doing and walkthroughs like bill doesn't care about all the stuff that sometimes some i should say Coaches that maybe aren't as secure in themselves, they worry about dumb stuff like that. Right. Is that what you've seen with Bill? That, hey, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter. Anything else? Yeah, he always, you know, um, it is it is vital to the success of the organization that everybody follows the mantra of do your job. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter if you come in pajamas. I mean, it probably doesn't matter if you come in some Ethica draws. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? As long as you go there, you do what you're supposed to do. You're on time for everything. You don't do dumb things and control the narrative of of the media obviously what you know you don't the last thing that you ever hear about anything in the new england patriots or any crazy stories coming out or what's going on behind the scenes and stuff like that um and he tells and he'll tell everyone this he says it to the whole room 
man, whenever you address the media, talk about you. Don't talk about Tom. If they ask you a question about anyone else, bring it back to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when you know he can, he 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 views things by how you how you handle the media, things like that. Um, Does he study that? Will he will he pull clips up of guys yes. if he feels Don't like they're not doing the right guy. thing? Hundred yeah. percent, really, man. <laughs> to the to the extent to where. You'll, he'll he'll go he'll see he looks at all the inter- interviews that everybody does he looks at all of them and then you know the next day he'll say hey and you know he'll we'll have our meeting and at the end of the meeting he'll say hey put this there da, 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 the quote such and such says this hey this is how you handle the media this is how you keep it on you keep it about yourself control what is said control what is thought isn't it crazy this, this dude listens all he interviews. highlights he Listen, highlights it he's a coach he's a gm Jeez. he's the fucking media director yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Council, dude. he <laughs> highlights man you have to, you get we give these guys a round of applause so yeah. <laughs> hey man good job handling the media yeah hey. Hey. yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. And, and i heard that take about the about you know about bill saying you know um he addressed Tom to see if he can get, you know, get on, get on, make Tom on the same level as everyone when it comes to like um, addressing him or yelling at him or screaming at him. I find that extremely hard to believe. I don't know. I don't know if that conversation actually had. Oh, he, yeah. he just said it. Just, I don't know if that conversation actually took. He did. Yeah, he said. He said that uh, Tom said that he appreciated it. whether he actually did or not. I do not know. If yeah. that's true. Man, yeah. you know, man, this twenty-year friendship. Yeah. If me and you've been twenty years for twenty friends for twenty. Yeah, these years, sleep things. You, you, everybody can make these sleep <laughs> things. Like, yeah. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We, we've been friends for twenty years. It, it's, it's, it's different, right? So if you go online, if you go out there and say, uh, "Oh man, yeah, I remember this, 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 that, that, that with Legarrette." But I might not remember the exact details <laughs> of it, but I'm gonna go on the, on the next thing, and they bring it and they bring it up. I'm gonna say, "Oh hell yeah, yeah. I remember that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know there's a I'm lot of that so. in life, but it's, it's nice to see them on the same page, you know? Yeah. Because for the last couple of years, there's been a lot of drama on whose side is what, uh, and we can't thank you for joining us.